Hello there, everybody. Hello, everyone. So I got my brother here today. He's a he's a coffee drinker. You like the coffee, right? Coffee make me act normal. <laughs> I don't <laughs> think that's true. No. <laughs> so this is a viewer request. Um, sorry, I don't remember who said it. That's my bad. But uh, our buckles uh, roasted coffees out of Tucson, Arizona. So apparently the story behind this is like. You know, back in the day, you know what I mean? Real yeah, they, men drink coffee. Apparently, yeah. Uh, they had cultivated a way to roast the coffee, to sell it, because basically you used to just get raw beans and you roasted them yourself. Well, there's always the potential to burn the beans. Either, I mean, you could be very careful in doing it and never burn a bean, but... Uh, There's no consistency with it. Yeah, exactly. So apparently it was a consistency thing. They came up with it. They've been around for apparently a long time. So they're the first company that offered roasted beans. Uh, <laughs> hey, man, that's the story. They're so, the yingling of coffee. I guess. <laughs> so this is um, this was actually like a gift pack that they sell. And the only reason is, is because like I, I'm not a mug collector, but I do like to have different mugs. Uh, so this co uh, comes with a mug and then their, um, what is it, like Al Rosa coffee, which was the original. They have a couple of different uh, blends. One, the, the Mexicali sound pretty good, but apparently a lot of these have sort of chocolatey notes, which mm. I usually can do be this. good, can be bad. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I usually drink the Starbucks mocha blend. That's yeah. usually my normal one, which is uh, just a hint of chocolatey, which is the only Starbucks brand coffee that I'll drink because the rest are pretty much garbage. But anyway, yeah, so I, I wanted to get this because of the mug, because the mugs look cool. Yeah. Um, so, uh, you know, the, the coffee that won the West, I don't know if we really have any sort of... Um, Proof to back that up. No, I mean uh, uh, an established date. You know, we were making fun of established dates <laughs> last night, but, uh, you know, I kind of wonder about that. So anyway, there's the story. If you want to pause on there, you, you're more than welcome to uh, read it. But, you know, it's kind of one of those cowboy coffee. Mm -hmm. Yeehaw, MFR. <laughs> All right, so, you know this stuff? It's the best thing in the world. Fire it? kindling. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it actually, it, it's pretty good. Hmm. It, it is, it does get everywhere, though. So, here is the mug. And, you know, another thing, too, it's like a big mug. Yeah. Like, what is with the P... It, it, I've gotten some small mugs that look bigger. Like four ounce mugs. Yeah, I mean, look at this. This is a this is a, a nice mug. big mug. That's what our grandparents drank out of. Yeah, <laughs> I, I mean, I like it. It's it's very simple. It's just the you know their logo, the, mm -hmm. the Al Rosa Coffee logo, but I like it. I think it's a cool mug. You know. See, it's a pound mug. It'll hold a pound of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> One whole pound of coffee. So anyway, we'll we'll probably wash that up, and then. Uh, Generally, I don't buy this big. That's a lot of coffee. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, package of coffee uh, to start a brand with, but here we go. They yeah, didn't have a smaller option. No, did they, they don't. <laughs> they don't have a sample or anything like that. But this is this is what they had, and you can smell it right out of the bag. You know, what I mean? I'm going to open it here, but I could smell when we open the box. That's yeah, night. that's the thing. You oh, there's, there's a back here too. Oh, it's the same story, isn't it? I think. Just don't know. Year on it. Uh, oh, there we go. Since 1864. Wow. So, yeah, there we go. Apparently, uh, you know, Cookie and the Chuck Wagon was part of this story. C Cookie and the Chuck Wagon. Hand me, a, hand me a knife or you got a knife. Just, just slice that. Don't slice me. Just slice that. Don't slice the bag or me. Or just the... <laughs> Well, at least they're nice enough to put a little one of the. I don't know what those are called. They're awesome, whatever they are. It's just a, a taped on twist tie, essentially. I don't know, man. I mean, I think it smells good. Yeah. It smells uh smells like it'd make a rich uh, rich cup of coffee. So, we're gonna go ahead and uh, pause, uh, brew this up, and see how it tastes. Back with our our buckles. Arosia, Arosa, I don't know. You know what? How would you pronounce that? You're the pronunciation guy. Ariosa. Ariosa. I have no idea. <laughs> eh, you know what? Okay, Ariosa. Sure, coffee. 
Uh, I clean the mug. Cleanliness is next to You don't trust that they clean it before they... <laughs> yeah, well, I'm sure it's fine. Anyway, <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, let's try this out. I'm actually uh, looking forward to it. We're just going to do it. Uh, let, me, let me make sure my... You want me to pour mine? It looks me... a little awkward. Nope. Oh, it's super awkward, but everything <laughs> I do on this channel is actually far more awkward than what people think it is, but because you can't see behind the camera, <clears throat> you'll never know. Half the time, I'm just bear-hugging this uh, tripod. It's super fun. Let me give you a little bit more. More with the big, the big cups, you know. All right. <clears throat> what do you think? Burn our face off on a scale of 1 to 10. I think it'll make the hot sauce reviews a lot more bearable. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try it. Yeah, that's not bad. No, I mean, it's a reasonably smooth coffee. Um, yeah. yeah, I don't know if there's... I think, I think that's just how you describe it. It's just smooth. There's not much else to say about it. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Yeah, I don't know if there's any real defining notes in it. Um, it's just kind of like a, a decent everyday kind of smooth drinking coffee. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely not. I mean, it gets the job done. <clears throat> it's yeah. Probably not. Sudden, I'd be like, man, I really want a second cup of that. But. Uh, I, well, I don't know. If you were just on the go, you put it in your thermos. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, go do your thing. I could see that. It smelled a lot better than the aromatic was really good, but, you know, it's the taste hard. is, it's, it's okay. It's hard to find a coffee that transfers the smell. It really mm -hmm. is. Oh, I know it. <clears throat> I know. I've, I've done a lot of these. I mean, I would drink this. I would, oh, I would yeah, drink. I would too. I'm uh, yeah. not trying to down on it. No, it's really good. The only issue is the price. Um, to be fair, I, I guess I'll look it up as I'm talking, but, um, I want to say it's like 16 bucks, uh, for a, uh, for a pound. Um, <clears throat> it's a little pricey. Well, they have it on Amazon for 18 95, but I'm going to talk straight off the site. Uh, <clears throat> no, it's also 18 95 on the site. It's, that's, Pricey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, hmm, I don't know. I don't know, man. I mean, I don't know if I could uh, justify that. <sighs> yeah. <clears throat> oh, they have a pronunciation here, Ariosa. Oh, really? Yeah, that's that's how. I mean, it's literally on their site. Yeah. Airy, oh, it's it's not Wingardium Liviosa. It's <laughs> Liviosa. So, um, yeah. So they describe it as a medium roast Central American blend, rich in flavor, balanced acidity with a faint note of smokiness and subtle chocolate finish. There is no chocolate. <laughs> I wouldn't say so either. Maybe if I made it stronger, it'd come out. But I mean, it's it's it it does have the balanced acidity. So it's not bitter. It's not acidic. Um, Do they actually give you a suggestion how much to use? I don't. Ounce I don't even care. Yeah. No, it doesn't. But I don't care about that sort of it's stuff. It's usually not right, but yeah, I'll I, give it a try. Once. I legitimately <laughs> just make it however I want. But um, oh, apparently there's a peppermint stick in that bag. Oh really? We didn't find it. <laughs> So it comes with our traditional peppermint stick made from organic beet juice and no corn syrup. It's it, the bags over way over there. Oh, it's in the yeah. Okay. It's fine. So yeah, apparently there's a peppermint stick. <laughs> they do recommend that you can freeze this, but take the peppermint stick out. <laughs> <laughs> it has a beet flavor to it. No, it's is uh, what did it say? Beet sugar. Mm. Uh, so anyway, okay, the coffee it's not bad. It's a good everyday drinker. What it, would you pay for it every day? No, I, I wouldn't necessarily pay you know almost twenty dollars for a for a pound of coffee. Um, you're probably talking forty bucks a month if that's an everyday drinker. Maybe, so. yeah, maybe. I don't know. What do you go through? You drink coffee every day. Well, I would probably be a little more conservative with this. I usually use about five tablespoons a day. 
So whatever that okay. translates to. Interesting. For a pound. Well, let me put it this, this way. It's good coffee. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it's a good quality coffee. Yeah. Um, I like I like the smoothness of it because if there's one thing I can't stand is really super harsh, crappy coffee. Um, like, <clears throat> never mind. I don't want to bash <laughs> Folgers, Maxwell House, whatever. Uh, so it's definitely a cut above. I can tell that there is more care put into it. Um, and I got to tell you, their emails are pretty funny. Like okay. when I when I put the e- when I put the order through, an email came through. It's like all was quiet in the warehouse. And then David from insert where you live, I'm not telling you, uh, placed an order and it interrupted with cheers and all this stuff. So I thought that was kind of funny. You know, they're, they're, they're a funny group. Um, so I don't know if you get some deals on it. uh, I I am kind of interested in trying the Mexicali. Uh, so that might be something I try later on. Again, it's a good everyday coffee. The price is a little mad, but there again, we're kind of cheap, you know, B words. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but it's not bad it is full bodied it is smooth not not really the chocolate notes I don't really taste the smoky notes which on an everyday do you really want chocolate flavor every single day so mm, it just all depends on your taste yeah. and, and the chocolate so anyway I think we've dragged this on long enough hopefully you guys have a great uh, rest of your morning uh, you know go enjoy your favorite brew and I haven't really said this before, but down in the comments below, let me know what your favorite cup of coffee is in the morning. What what do you drink to get yeah. yourself, even if it's tea, because mm-hmm. I also switch out teas sometimes too. So, uh, but yeah, that's it for me, and we will catch you on the next one. See you guys. See ya.